Now, SpaceX is well on, on its way of becoming one of the most trusted aerospace manufacturers in the world, especially after its latest journey to the International Space Station. The company launched its record 18th commercial mission to supply the International Space Station. The launch, which was scheduled for Wednesday, had to be aborted due to bad weather and then was rescheduled for Thursday. The mission will reach Space Station by Saturday, where it will remain docked for about four weeks before returning back to the Earth again. So what is so special about this latest SpaceX launch? Now, for starters, most components in the mission are reusable. Now, after the launch, the first component, Falcon 9, successfully landed back near Cape Canaveral. The cargo vehicle, called the Dragon, has already made about two trips to the space station, making this one its third and final one. Now, all SpaceX cargo carriers are used thrice before retirement, and this particular carrier also had a logo commemorating the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. Now, SpaceX could very soon also unveil a new version of the Dragon, which has a faster turnaround time. Now, the idea is to land the new model in the Atlantic Ocean instead of the Pacific, so the journey towards the refurbishment centers in Florida is less. All right, let's also now take a quick look as to what else is making news around the world. So in this dramatic video that was captured by a CCTV camera at the Atlanta airport, a toddler could be seen struggling to get down to the conveyor belt. Now, the two-year-old climbed, had climbed onto the belt and then could be seen scrambling over suitcases in a bit to get down. The toddler later tumbled down into another room where the security workers picked him up and then managed to rescue him. Unfortunately, his hand was broken in the incident. All right, now setting records is in our DNA. To go faster and higher than ever before brings with it a certain thrill which every adrenaline junkie would relate to. Now, it was just such a stunt which was attempted over the English Channel to fly over the English Channel to create history. So what was this flight all about? Take a look at the support. To fly like a bird is one of the most enduring human dreams. To this effect, French inventor and jet ski racing champion Frankie Zapata set for himself the ambitious task of flying over the English Channel on nothing more than a jet ski skyboard. In a scene which looked like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, he took off from Calais in France and was to travel to the St. Margaret's Bay in Dover in England. As per plan, Zapata flew at an altitude of 15 to 20 meters above the sea. His average speed was a whopping 140 kilometers per hour, and he intended to cover the 35 kilometer stretch of the English Channel in about 20 minutes. The effort is enormous. I don't know if you can imagine. You put your hand outside the car at 130 kilometers per hour, you see the pressure you have on your hand. So you can imagine on your whole body when you're going at 130 kilometers per hour. This was already a physical and technical challenge. It was also necessary to scale back the machine's consumption limits, etc. So that's what made us do it. And then to walk a little bit in the footsteps of the pioneers of aviation. Frankie Zapata had factored in every possibility. He had meticulously planned for his feet and was hoping to become the first man to cross the English Channel flying on a jet ski skyboard. Even the date for this impressive stunt had been carefully chosen. It was exactly 110 years ago on this day that Louis Blériot had made the first aeroplane flight across the English Channel. The first 24 kilometers of his journey were covered without a hitch. But then Frankie Zapata maneuvered towards the surface of the sea for a scheduled refueling stop onto a boat, but missed the target by a few centimeters 
and crashed into the channel. Zapata was unhurt, but his dream of flying over the English Channel without an incident has failed for the day. The jet ski champion had caught the imagination of the world when on Bastille Day he flew over the city of Paris, much to the amusement of everyone on the ground. French President Emmanuel Macron had even tweeted the video of this outstanding invention. Zapata's flyboard is powered by kerosene and can fly an individual to an altitude of 500 feet. It has an impressive top speed of 140 kilometers per hour.